Two scoops away. Creamy rice. Almond milk. What's going on guys? Currently 6.38 p.m. on Monday, March 14th. So I'm leaving tomorrow, going home, and then I'll be going to Florida. So spring break is here, and uh, I'm pretty pumped about it. But this workout was yesterday. I hit chest and biceps together, doing this split again for this week just because I loved it so much. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, I can't say bench went too great. And I made an observation uh, for one, the bench is in the middle of this gym. The ground is uneven, so that kind of trolled me. So what I did was I switched it up, and I, and I went over to the other side of the gym. And I still didn't perform too well, so I know it was on me. I can't make an excuse for that. But another observation I made was I've never really had too great of a bench day at this gym. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the benches and I'm not used to them yet. It's just I, I've progressed. You guys see me progress in a lot of gym, in two gyms very well on the bench it's been known for me to be good at this lift at least you know compared to my other lifts but for whatever reason this gym i just i haven't had one very good pr bench workout here yet and i'm, I'm hoping for it soon my roommate actually lifts at this gym and at a gym at home and he actually told me that he was PRing at home, but when he got to this gym, the weights felt heavier. So there is a possibility. Sometimes metal weights, they're not that accurate. Old weights aren't accurate. There's a lot of variables. That's why I really think if you're in one gym, that's the best case scenario. Um, as Rich Piano would say, the best possible scenario is to be in one gym. So you know you you know your progression schemes. You know you know kind of where, where you're at at all times. I think that's really beneficial. But we're going to just get through it anyways, guys, because let me put it this way. If I'm struggling with 225 for nine reps in this gym, maybe it's 235. Who the hell knows? I don't really care about that. All I care is progressing. So if these weights really are heavier, good. I'm going to get up to 315. So that way, when I go to a gym where the weights are normal, I'll be even stronger than I really think I am. So, hey, that works for me. And uh, you got to make the most of what you got access to. And that's just what I'm doing here. And uh, all in all, I can't complain about this workout. I think this was on Sunday. Yeah, because it was yesterday. So basically on Saturday, you guys know I was I was sick. I mentioned that in the last video. Not too sick, not too bad. I've just been taking NyQuil every night, making sure I get really bomb-ass sleep, like 12 hours. It's been great. Well, not 12, maybe 9 or 10, but you know what I mean. And uh, I actually crushed like 6 to 8 meals all day long on Saturday. And I, I tallied up my calories for fun. I usually don't do that, but came around to about 5,200 to 5,300, maybe a little bit more calories. And I was I was surprised because I, I pretty much crushed like over 5K of clean food. And uh, I did jump up to 187. So on this day, I was weighing 187. And today, I weighed 185 on a lot of food again. So I dropped that weight really quickly. Uh, well, at least the first few pounds, but I, I guess that gave me some extra energy. So going into this workout, my expectations were actually a lot higher and the pump was good. It was all right. I want to say it was fantastic, but the fact that my strength isn't there right now, I think is a combination of just being sick and maybe being a little bit worn down, but we'll get it back and uh, things are going well. So just keeping up uh, the meals, keeping up the training and Getting over those last little bit of the sickness, as you can tell in my voice, I just have like a little congestion, but it's really no big deal. Nothing I can really bitch about because uh, I feel fine in the gym today. I had a great workout. You'll see my next workout, which was today I hit uh, shoulders. You'll see that in the next voiceover. There's going to be two voiceovers in this uh, video. hope it doesn't get too long, but I'd rather do that than just make one video. And... I want to say something about this incline press. It's really weird. I don't know if any of you guys have Cybex in your gyms. I just hate this. I'm going to say it. I, I hate these damn machines. I, I like the pec deck. I like the curl. But overall, the quality is just not there. This machine in particular, it is unilateral. But for, for some reason, it's like uh, it, it's really easy to lose your, your groove, your path. It's hard to explain. But if you're pushing straight up, it's almost like the handles want to go outward instead of inward, and it's just really, um, you know, I've used a lot of machines, and it's not not ideal. It's not it's not something that you would want. But uh, 
it is what it is. Like I said previously, you have to work with what you have. So this is one of the machines that I tend to love uh, in any gym. It's kind of hard to mess up this machine, but the pec deck is great. You know, I always feel a pump. I'm sure a lot of you do this, and you get a great pump. Just getting in some partials at the end, getting a little bit beyond failure, hitting a little front double by, and that was pretty much that. I had a last bicep movement here. I did like a heavy set. I think this is my second set here. I think I did two heavy sets and like two lighter sets, so... Pretty sure this is the second heavy set of eight or so. You guys are probably counting. I'm not. But it felt good. Um, I, mean, I actually do like this machine. The only thing with it, believe it or not, it falls apart kind of. And I do slam it around a little bit. So, you know, you can't slam it like you slam hammer strength stuff, I guess. But I think I slammed this down on like one of my sets and a screw pops out. And I was like, what the hell is going on? But, you know, it is what it is. I'm just hitting some poses here, hitting some back poses Noticing that my left arm looks bigger than my right just because I think my right shoulder drops down so it gets out angled. That's a chiropractic issue, but I'll check in with you guys at this next voiceover. Enjoy this video. And by the way, our crowds are so much bigger than Bernie's you wouldn't believe it. You're Probably do a stack of these with that pre-workout meal of cream of rice and whey. Cream of rice cooked in this almond milk, by the way, is just absolutely bomb. That was pretty quick. Already back in for the second workout. This is today's workout. Decided to just throw it in this video for you guys. No sense in putting out two little videos of two lifts, but long story short, we got shoulders and traps day. I decided to throw in traps with shoulders just because I wanted to. Like I said, I'll switch it up. I'll throw them with back sometimes. doesn't matter to me too much. But starting out with a rear delt movement, like I said in my last shoulder day, this is something I want to do every single shoulder day because I want my rear delts to be a very prominent muscle group in my poses like the back double bicep, which you're about to see. I think that girl like accidentally moved my phone and kind of saw the camera, but it's all good. Uh, I was warming up there, then I had this back double by before my next set, and uh, it was pretty good. I was trying to keep my chest up here. I actually texted my friend. I asked him how he liked to do this movement. This guy was right in the camera. I decided to keep him in. He trolled it too. All good. And uh, yeah, my friend told me, you know, keep your chest up, and I did that instead of what I normally do, and I felt it a lot better, and I can even see in my back. I can see the muscles working in a way that's just more favorable and uh sorry about that horn outside somebody just beeped outside my door but yeah the, the reverse pack deck was good i did two sets at about i want to say 110 i kept it pretty light maybe 130 at the most and then i dropped down i think i went from 130 to 110 actually and i did sets of 15 and it was great and instead of going on to my next rear delt movement right away i decided to hit some laterals on this machine big big fan of this machine really locks you in place it really does force you to strictly focus on your shoulders and that's one of the reasons that I like to use it both in the beginning of my workouts and at the end so I don't see this coming out of my routine for shoulders at least in this gym obviously if I'm in another gym they're probably not going to have this because Cybex equipment or at least this type of Cybex equipment I don't tend to see too much in a lot of other gyms but I hit these dumbbell presses. These are the 80 pound dumbbells I got for six reps. So that's a one rep PR after being pre exhausted. I'm happy as hell with that. And I'm, I'm liking the pressing after doing the raises and the flies. I personally am just loving it. I've done it both ways, guys. Trust me. I've been through the whole I'm going to press first because it's just what people do, it's just what you have to do. I've pressed first for my shoulders a lot and then got into the flies. And I'll tell you, I like it this way because I feel warmed up. Now, before you say anything about these, I mentioned them in the last shoulder video, guys. These are my cheater lateral raises. I go heavy as hell for one to two sets. This, this is 55 pounds. I go heavy. I hold it for as, as much as I can on my shoulder. And trust me, I am feeling the burn in my shoulders here. There's a lot of body English, but your muscle does know one thing, and that's tension. You know, your muscle recognizes resistance as resistance. So I do one to two heavy, heavy sets there. And then I drop it down, and I, this is my last set here. I did two sets of lighter sets. So I did my first set of, I got these 30s for like 25. And then this next set, I got a little bit of a less, uh, those set you're watching now, I got a little less reps, but I still kept the form nice and, you know, decent. 
not perfect, but definitely good. Uh, trying to keep my pinkies up as much as I can. And trust me, by this point, I know the pump was not too big today. I don't even know why because I've been crushing carbs as you see my pre-workout meals. Wasn't too big of a pump for whatever reason, maybe just because it's early in the day. But I felt it very nicely in my shoulders. I feel like I got a really nice shoulder workout today. And yeah, I'm just really hammering away at these side delts, these rear delts. I really want to get them nice and capped. Um, front delt work directly has not really been thrown in too much. Maybe soon, maybe soon because I do like to do it every now and then. But uh, yeah, finished off with rear delts here. And uh, these, well, I didn't finish off. I actually have one more exercise. And uh, these are something I can actually go heavier than I can on my laterals. I can I tend to go up to the 50, 55s, but I kept it at 40 since it was the last movement of the day. And that was pretty much the shoulder workout besides shrugs, which you're about to see right after this set. And all in all, it was great. As you see my pre-workout meals, guys, I'm getting a good amount of carbs in. Uh, I was 185.8 or, some, or something in this workout, a.k.a. today when I woke up. And I'm feeling good at this weight, feeling really solid. I don't know if I'll weigh 184, 186 tomorrow. I'll probably maintain it. Just depends on how much I eat or you know how much I go to the bathroom, for uh, lack of a better explanation. But that's pretty much it, guys. Stay tuned for, for some uh, more videos. Um, I hope you enjoyed this one. As you see, I'm going to throw the bar behind my back here. I think it's in this clip. Yeah, and do some of these uh, shrugs. They felt really solid. But yeah, comment, like, subscribe, guys. You can follow me on Instagram. And until that next one, I will catch you guys then. See you in the next video. Peace out.